Pumpkin pie is the perfect dessert for Aussie tables in the cooler months. This recipe takes that pumpkin spice flavour to the next level with a ginger pastry pie crust. The first thing to do is to make the ginger pastry and this is really easy to do in the food processor. Just pop in your flour, icing sugar, brown sugar, butter and some ground ginger. And you just want to blend that until it becomes fine breadcrumbs. If you don't have a food processor, you can combine all the dry ingredients in a bowl and rub in the butter until it's well combined. Next, we're going to add the egg yolk and the water. Now you have your dough, you just want to roll it out on a lightly floured surface. Gently knead it, just so that it's smooth. You don't want to overwork it because it'll make the pastry really tough. So just bring it together to a ball, it's nice and smooth. Wrap it up and pop it in the fridge for about 30 minutes to rest. To get ready to bake the pastry, you need to preheat the oven to 200 degrees Celsius. Then grab your chilled pastry and you just want to roll it on a floured surface till it's about three millimetres thick. I'm just going to pop a bit of flour on top of the pastry so the rolling pin doesn't stick. And just keep moving the pastry around as you roll it so it doesn't stick to your bench. So now the pastry is big enough to fit in the tin. You just want to carefully lift it and bring the pie dish over and layer it in. And then I'm just pressing in the edges so you get no air bubbles in your pastry. And then just with a sharp knife, trim the edges. So now I'm going to pop the pastry back in the fridge for 15 minutes to rest. This will help stop it from shrinking when it's in the oven. When you're making a pie with a wet filling like this one, you really want to blind bake the pastry so it stays nice and crisp. And to do that, just take some baking paper and I'm going to scrunch it up. This just helps it fit into the pie crust better. Gently place it over the pastry. And then I've got some baking weights and you just pop them into the pie crust, spread them out. So they're nice and flat in there and I'm going to pop this in the oven for 10 minutes to cook. So that's cooked for 10 minutes and you're just going to remove the weights and return the pie crust to the oven for another 10 minutes to continue cooking. To make the filling you need to reduce the oven to 160 degrees. For the recipe we're using some mashed pumpkin and to make the pumpkin I've peeled and seeded the pumpkin and I'm going to cut it into three centimetre pieces and we're going to steam it. Got a steaming basket over a pot of boiling water and we just add the pumpkin. And just cover it and it'll take about 15 minutes to cook. Now the pumpkin's cooked, we're just going to transfer it into a medium bowl and mash it. Now you need the pumpkin as smooth as possible when making the pie. So what I'm going to do is put it into a fine sieve over a bowl and just push it through and then get rid of any lumps that are in the pumpkin. And now I'm just going to scrape the bottom of the sieve and just get all the remaining pumpkin and it's nice and smooth. Now I'm going to add some eggs, some brown sugar, evaporated milk, maple syrup, cinnamon, a teaspoon of vanilla paste. And we just want to stir that until it's nice and well combined. Now I'm going to pour the mixture through another sieve into a large jug and that just gives us that beautiful silky filling. You can just use your spoon just to gently help it through the sieve. Now that we've got our filling all strained, we're going to fill our pie case. You just pour the mixture in. And I pop that in the oven for 30 to 35 minutes to bake until it's just set. If you give it a gentle shake in the tin, you can see it wobbles, but it's just set all the way through. Once this has cooled down a bit, you can pop it into the fridge to chill. Now that we've made the pumpkin pie, I'm using pepitas, also known as pumpkin seeds, to make a sweet nutty praline to top the pie with and it adds a real crunch when you're eating it. First we're going to line a baking tray with some foil and I've greased it just so that the toffee doesn't stick and it comes off easily. And now I'm going to spread the pepitas over the foil. For the toffee, we're just going to add some sugar and some water to a small pan. You just want to cook that over low heat until the sugar's dissolved. You need to increase the heat to medium and cook it without stirring until the toffee has gone a nice golden brown colour. Now I'm really happy with that colour, it's nice and golden brown. I'm going to turn the heat off and just let the bubbles subside a little bit before I pour it over the pepitas. And just remember that the toffee is going to keep on cooking so it will go darker, so take it off just a little bit before it's too dark. Whirl it around to get it nice and even. And then I'm going to 
pour it. And just swirl it around a little bit to cover the papitas. And just set that aside for 20 minutes to cool. To serve the pie, we just need to remove it from the tin. And I'm just going to get a spatula and get underneath and loosen the crust from the base. And then carefully transfer it to a plate. Top with some whipped cream. Just give it a little spread. And now let's check if our praline's cool. It's nice and firm. And just chop it into shards. All that's left to do now is to top with the praline. There you have it. Spiced pastry, rich golden filling and crunchy toffee topping. If you want to make this ahead, you can store the pie without the topping in an airtight container in the fridge for up to five days. For more great baking recipes, check out our playlist here. And to make sure you don't miss out on any of our videos, click here to subscribe.